So here's a great opportunity to mm -hmm. give into the gospel, give into the ministry, give into a person who is willing to put great account, great rewards in heaven for you if all you do is for a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. That you make more in a day than they make in three months. It's a it's a great return, kingdom return on your money. It is. It is. It is. You'll sow it to good ground. Okay, I want to have a couple ushers come. Pat, why don't you come? And Don Hawkins, I want you to come. I want to tell you all, the secret of being a good usher is to not miss anybody. And then when they don't give anything, you choose to leave me in your mouth. God, this makes you don't miss anybody. Pat, I want you to pray. Father, we thank you for our, what a privilege it is to be a part of your kingdom and to be a partaker of it and a participant in it, Lord. It's not a, a religious duty. It's not a um, it's not tradition. God, it's life. It's peace and it's joy. It's righteousness. It's life to the full. And we just count it an honor and privilege to be able to uh, be part of your kingdom and be part of your kingdom around the earth. But Lord, we are members of the same body of Christ, whether we speak the same language or the same skin color. Uh, God, we're a part of each other because we're a part of you. And um, we just thank you for the opportunity to give into the into Vietnam and into your, the kingdom work that you're doing there. And we just um, really appreciate you including us in it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You went to Vietnam, didn't you? Tap went to Vietnam. If anybody wants to go on a mission trip, if you want to go on a mission trip, Dean Simpson takes people all the time. He takes them to, he took me to Poland. And he goes to the Ukraine, which is part of the old Soviet Union. He goes to Vietnam. He goes to Cuba. Where else do you go? You go to Guatemala. Where? Guatemala. There's lots of places. So if you want to go on a missions trip, right there is the man you need to see. He can, he can help you go. It'll cost you a little money. It always does. But it's a great experience. I'll never forget my experience in Baltimore. And Renee went with me. Renee went, that's right. Renee went to Cuba with you. <laughs> yes. I think she and I believe she and Ann room together. They did. It's a blessing, I'm telling you. Dean, how old are you? 80? Huh? 82. Nobody has a cotton picking excuse. <laughs> that man's 82 years old. He still takes people around the world and preaches the gospel. So don't tell me you're 40 and you can't do it. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. 41 and you can't do it. He's 82 and he's still doing it. All right? Well, Bob went to the mission field full time when he was 49. 49 was full time. How old are you now, Bob? 67. 67, he's still preaching the gospel of Vietnam. Well, not tonight, but <laughs> Think about all of our viewers who are going to come and help us build our new building. All of them are retirement age. Let's not hear, let's not have no excuses. There's no excuses. No excuses. Your excuse limits God. And when you have excuses and you complain and you bellyache about things, you are limiting God on what he can do because you are acting in disobedience. That's the truth. Yeah. Don Hawkins. How are you, Don? 81. 81. And Don still preaching the gospel. Amen. Preaches the gospel, declares the word of the Lord. No excuses. Amen. No excuses. Your excuse is not accepted. <laughs> right. That's right. Amen. When you say, when you say things like, I don't have the money. I'm too old. Whatever. <laughs> What's another excuse? I'm too young. Too young. I'm too young. Okay. <laughs> Where's Renee at? Hey, Lala, 
Did she say. leave on me already? Where's Renee? They'll say I don't have any help. That's what one Renee was Renee was too young to go on a mission trip. They said she was too young to go. They said she was too young to go. And they said, but we'll make an exception. We'll take her, but she's too young to go. We've never taken anybody this young. It was a big or missions organization. And I said, you can go, Renee, but we aren't giving you any money. Because I knew she couldn't go. She didn't have any money. <laughs> Two weeks, all the money she needed got poured upon her. <laughs> We were crying all the time she was gone. <laughs> Glad that she got back. But don't tell me you're too young. You don't have the money. Where the Lord's in it, there's a way, there's a proof, there's heaven will open up, God will pour you out a blessing, there won't be room enough to receive it. Amen. What's another excuse? Don't have talent? Forget that. It's not about talent, it's about availability. Amen. Being available to the Lord. The Lord can give you the talent. Amen. Yes, he does. Because he does give the talent. Yes, he does. Amen. It's about, what's another excuse? Not well enough. When, when we went to the mission field, my wife's appendix had been broken. She was, was in tremor. She was in tremor. She was shaking all the time. And people told her, you're not healthy enough to go. The day she set her foot in Asia, she was healed. Amen. 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 Now, don't tell me you're too sick to go. We don't want to hear it. We serve Jehovah Healer. Right? Yeah. I don't know if that's what right. What's the healer? What is that? Which, which name is the healer? Rafa. Jehovah Rafa. That's right. Don't tell me that. There's a testimony of somebody who was sick. Went. Down. That's right. Listen, if God calls you, God will equip you. Yes. He equips what he calls. Yeah, amen. You can be the dumbest fellow on the block, but he calls you. God can equip you and, tra yes, and train you and teach you. No excuses. When I went in the gospel, preaching the gospel, I couldn't read the Bible. But God taught me how to read. Yeah. See? No excuses. Everything. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. All right. I want to encourage you to be sure and vote. Yes. No, no, not go and vote. Don't do that. This is the most important election. Uh, it's in our lifetime. It'll be, be the most important election in the next, life, <coughs> next 100 years. Yes. This is it. We got to show up. The church has got to show up and vote. We gotta vote. That's right. We gotta vote. Listen, Christian, no excuses. Christian duty. When the polls open up and yeah. go and vote. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Thank you, Lord. Dad Lynn wanted to say something. What's that? Lynn. Okay. Come on. Perfect. Church is over at eight o'clock. Got thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry up. That clock is ticking around. You got one minute. Two minutes. Surgery on my foot this morning, so I'll sit here. I got a big enough voice. Okay, I'm speak it out, sister. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, you can sit there. I'm sitting there. Oh, okay. It's easier on the foot. Thank you. I had an episode yesterday. I'm going to tell you that what I know personally is the power of Jesus Christ. He protected me yesterday. I had a case of road rage. A young man was tailgating me. I looked to my rear view mirror and I saw him. He was very close to my car. I was going 25 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone, right over here on Radio Road. Mm -hmm. I slowed my car down, the guy came on the left side of my vehicle, my windows were down, his windows were down. He was a young man, 20 something, 30 something. Reached in his crotch, pulled out a gun, cocked it, and aimed it at my head. It was less than 10 feet away from me. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna tell you right now, power of Jesus saved my life again yesterday. That's three times. Once on the cross. Twice when he took my cancer away and I was a terminal cancer patient. And yesterday with that man that God, Jesus Christ is my best friend and Father God protected me. And I'm going to tell you right now, if there's any unbelievers telling you the truth, Jesus is alive. 
He's here. He loves you. He'll be your best friend that you ever have. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, again, for saving my life. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 And this lovely woman, Indian woman, got saved, and she was, loved the Lord, and she just came to church all the time, and it made her husband mad, and he didn't like her leaving, and she'd come to revivals, and he'd be gone. she'd be gone, and he got all upset, and one day he walked into church, walked down the church with a gun and pulled the gun out, stuck it right at the preacher and was going to pull the trigger. The people were crying out, praying, the Holy Ghost fell, he dropped the gun, and got saved. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah for our heaven is coming down. Yes, I thought I'd shout a little bit. The church, we need to pray for people. We need to pray for the people who are not well, like that young man. Don't condemn him. Pray for him. Yeah. He needs Jesus. I hope to God. I pray to God and Jesus to find this young man. Yes, and Jesus, I agree with you, and sister, right now, in Jesus' name. And heal him. Lord. Yes, touch his demonic brain and set him free. Let Jesus minister to him. Right? Yes, that's Please it. Pray for that. Amen. Hallelujah. And many lives. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, now someone pulls a gun out of you. Oh. <laughs> You'll be glad the Holy Ghost shows up. <laughs> I was. You'd be saying the same thing. You'd be saying, thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. And not just once. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, that was worth three minutes out. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, not pretty, we're, not, we're not on time for us. Uh, he's a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, why don't we just take a moment and just lift our hands to the Lord, just thank you for being in the house and touching people's lives, because he is God. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you, Jesus' name. We exalt you, Father God. We thank you for being in the house. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for today. A miracle from heaven came touch my sister yesterday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for being God, for taking care of us, for watching over us. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Jesus. We give you praise and honor and glory. You are God. You are so good to us. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. I have a word from the Lord for this, this people in this church tonight. The Lord has a hedge of protection around you. Yes, he does. He is not going to forsake you. And you can stand up boldly. And you can speak. And he will protect you. In Amen. Jesus' name. And he'll protect your family, too. He he'll protect your family, too. <laughs> yes. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being our helper. Ever-present helper in a time of need. The Lord is with us. He is with us. He is with us. Thank you, Jesus. He is walking with us. Walking with us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's the same church in Vietnam. It's the same church in Cambodia. It's the same church in Cuba. It's the same church. It's a blood-washed, bought church by the blood of Jesus. Shed on the cross for our sins. Brings redemption. Whoever believes sets people free. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. Be blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
I'm telling you, it looks like a good offer. Thank you folks for being